Have you been checking out the Build-A-Soil 3.0 recipe online but haven't pulled the trigger yet? Follow along the Know Before You Grow series to see if it'll be a good fit for you. Follow us along as we fill out a scorecard, evaluate its overall score and best uses. Well, welcome or welcome back to the Know Before You Grow series. I'm Matt. And I'm Chris with My Soil. Let's go ahead and dive right into price. As a consumer, that's the first thing I want to look at. And I purchased this soil, so it was one of the first things I looked at. We just have a chart that outlines how this scores based on price point. And to date, this has been the most expensive soil that we've bought. It's $61.99 per cubic foot, or at least it was when I purchased it. So based on price and price alone, this actually scored a zero. Anything above $45 on our chart scores a zero in this category. But there's a lot more to consider outside of price. So let's go ahead and turn it over to Chris and see how it smells. Yeah, so the first thing as a consumer when you buy a product, open it up is, you know, really, you know, what's the uh, what's the smell of that product? Anything off-putting uh, with the Build-A-Soil um, smell-wise, uh, very, very pleasant smell, nothing off-putting. Um, I had like an earthy, you know, peat smell to it. Um, so with that earthy peat smell that you got, I'm getting the same. I actually would argue it smells pretty, pretty good, really. What'd you score that, Chris? Uh, for smell, I gave it a nine. Very, very nice smell. Not off-putting. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we compared notes ahead of filming this, but I was right at a nine as well. It just has that good earthy sm smell. It's not neutral. It actually smells like it should grow plants somehow. It does. All right, so Chris had this at a nine for smell. I had this at a nine for smell as well. So we'll go ahead and pop that on the scorecard and transition right into the look and feel. One of the things that I noted about this when I was putting it in the container here is it had a really high density, but that's not a bad thing. Um, it filled this soil or this container up really well and it acted almost like a regular soil and like making aggregates or soil structural units. I had this scored really high on look and feel. I actually had this uh, at a nine for look and feel also. Yeah, I had it at a nine um, as well. You know, really uh, has the fines, you know, obviously for water holding capacity, nutrient holding. Um, but it also had these larger perlite chunks for uh, optimal drainage, just a, a very unique soil, just a real unique look and, and feel to this one. So I really, I really liked it. So it's nines across the board so far. Let's turn it over to the MySoil guy to talk nutrient levels and soil test data. So we ran nutrient levels uh, through the MySoil test before we planted the plants, uh, got those results back. And uh, this soil scored pretty well uh, on all of our nutrient levels, all our macronutrients. We we're at or above the optimal range for all those macronutrients. pH was in the optimal range. The only thing we were a little bit low on was our micronutrients. But besides that, very good nutrient levels. Uh, I scored this as a, at a nine based on nutrient levels. Absolutely, I was at a nine also, and I cheated a little bit. I looked at that MySoil test and the nutrient density score. I saw the nutrient density score was at 85%, but because the levels of macronutrients were so high, I bumped it up to that nine also. All right. So that puts us nine across the board still um, as we come into will it grow? And so we pre-germinated and seeded uh, two lettuce seeds and two tomato seeds just about six and a half weeks ago. And as you can see here, it will certainly grow. Um, I don't see any nutrient deficiency symptoms. Uh, plant health looks great. It wasn't over vigorous. This was uh, one of our more successful grow outs to date. I put it in that top tier. And so from a will it grow standpoint, I'm at a nine again. And Chris, would you add to that at all? Yeah, I scored it a nine as well. Um, yeah, just to note, it was very, um, very controlled growth um, and no, no deficiencies that, that we can see. Just a very, very dense controlled growth um, on both the tomatoes uh, and the lettuce as well. So um, a nice soil, grew plants. Um, I really like this one. Fantastic. So as we look at what that overall rating is going to be, we'll just add all that up. Now, it did get that zero in the price category, but then was a nine for smell, look and feel, nutrient levels, as well as will it grow. I think it's also notable that this is 100% organic soil. It is enriched with soil microbes as well. So there's some value added uh, in that regard too. The overall rating here is a 7.2. So it's one of our top performers, uh, 
even though we pay a little extra for it. Chris, what do you perceive to be some of the best uses for this build a soil 3.0 recipe? Yeah, with this type of soil, how it performed, nutrient levels, the grow out, uh, this is really a, a standalone soil. Just, uh, you know, plant it and, and let it grow. Not No no additions really needed on this one. So yeah, best use for me, ready to plant standalone soil. Couldn't agree more. Well, thanks for joining us on this review of Build a Soil 3.0. Sure appreciate if you would like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and follow us along as we review many other products. We'll see you again soon in the lab. Thank you.